My name is Ivan and I'm going to show you how to inflate a Minnesota tube, the esophageal balloon, without a manometer. I'm going to use a manual blood pressure cuff instead. Uh, normally, respiratory is supposed to have a manometer that fills the esophageal balloon. However, um, if you don't have it, all you need is a three-way stopcock, 50cc syringe, and a manual cuff. And of course, the tube. So the tube, you pull out. At this point, you're gonna already be at the point where uh, the gastric balloon's in the stomach and inflated. So you've done the 50 cc's, you've confirmed that it's in the stomach with an x-ray, uh, you full, fill it up to 250, you pull traction, and the, and the esophageal balloon's in place. So after that, you're gonna grab a three-way stopcock, you're gonna grab the esophageal balloon tube. You're going to put the stopcock in there. You're going to then grab your blood pressure cuff, the manual. You're going to remove the tubing so it goes straight to the cuff. You're going to put that here. And try to attach it as tightly as possible. For that, you grab the 50cc syringe. And it's gonna be set up like this, okay? So esophageal balloon one side, cuff the other, cc, uh, 50cc syringe on the bottom. And then Dr. O'Malley, do you mind holding esophageal pressure for me? I'm gonna pull out Fill up the syringe with 50 cc's, but I'm only going to go at 10 at a time. Attach it. First, I'm going to turn off towards that and put 10 cc's in. Then I'm going to turn off here and see the pressure rise. We have about 10, c 10 millimeters per mercury. Then I'm going to turn off again and put 10 more. Turn off again, see the new pressure. It's about 25. Turn off again, put another 20, 10, turn off again, and it's about 40, and we have the cuff inflated, so hopefully it's tamponading the esophagus and stopping the variceal bleed. Thank you.